Well, yes, healthcare in India has just turned more expensive. Today onwards, all non-ICU hospital rooms that cost more than 5,000 rupees a day will be charged with a 5% GST. This decision was taken in the 47th GST meet, which was held on June 28th and 29th, with effect July 18th. What this means is that if a non-hospital ICU bed costs 5,000 rupees or more, the patient will pay 5% per day on the rent, which equals to around 250 rupees. For example, if, a, if patient A is admitted for one day in a non-ICU bed, which costs around 5,000 rupees, the patient will be charged a 250 rupees GST. If the patient is admitted for two days, then they will pay 500 rupees GST, which is rupees 250 for day one and another <coughs> 250 for day two. And a four day stay will equal to a GST of around 1,000 rupees. This step is going to pinch patients' pockets, according to experts. Indians today depend heavily on private healthcare and have one of the highest out-of-pocket expenditures when it comes to health. Today, 29% of the total current health expenditure in the country was towards private hospitals, whilst only 17% is towards government hospitals. Currently, at least 5 out of 10 urban households and 40% of rural households use private healthcare as their main source of healthcare. And though India's out-of-pocket expenditure on healthcare has reduced from over 60% a couple of years ago to 48-50%, to it compares to around 8% globally, making it one of the highest in the world. Today, the government's health expenditure is estimated to be around 1.3% of GDP, which is lower than the household out-of-pocket expenditure which is 1.6% of GDP. The government spends uh, on health around 1,753 rupees per year, which is lower than what households shell out at around 2097 rupees. Hospitals, which are currently facing higher operational costs anyway, on account of inflation and COVID-19 protocols, will probably see their costs rise further. They have complained as to why there is no input tax credit with this step. Currently, hospitals say the embedded input in the company's cost is already 5-6%, to 6 which is being absorbed by the industry. This is an additional input tax with which there is no set-off and will have to be passed on to patients eventually. Also, room rent hence forms an integral part of healthcare services, which is currently exempt, and any GST, according to experts, should be addressed for healthcare services on the whole. Despite complaints from important quarters such as the Indian Medical Association, the government has decided to go ahead with this decision. The rationale as per the government is that if a patient can afford a room worth 5,000 rupees, then they can afford to pay this GST as well. Experts also fear this might pave the way for more tax on healthcare and related services, which until now has been exempt from GST. Lastly, the only long-term solution experts point out is for the public healthcare system to be strengthened so that patients do have access to affordable quality healthcare, which is not private. Steps include increasing spend on healthcare as a percentage to GDP on a sustainable basis, increasing health infrastructure, which includes, for example, the number of public hospital beds, doctors and nurses patient ratio, and also factors in strengthening the health insurance system in the country.